In this video, we're going to scratch the surface of exporting. There are so many different options when it comes to exporting, we can create a whole series about it. Media Composer is the editing system used by nearly every Oscar winning movie in the last decade. So you can bet there are so many different workflows available like exporting an AAF file to send a sequence to audio or sound design. There are workflows for sending your sequence to a colorist and the list goes on and on. We're gonna keep things very simple here, and let's just say that we've worked hard on our first sequence, and we just wanna get the video out of Media Composer so that we can share it on social. I have a simple sequence here on the timeline, and I'm going to come up here to the sequence window, right click, and then choose Export. From here, I'm going to choose Options, and let's take a look at what we have to work with. First, I'll choose Export As. This is telling Media Composer what type of file we want to export. For this, I'm going to choose QuickTime Movie. To the right here, you'll want to use Marks if you have an In and an Out point selected, and rather than exporting the whole sequence, you just like a section of it. Use Selected Tracks is telling Media Composer to just export the tracks that you have selected. Be sure, especially if you have effects in upper layers, that if you use this option, you've selected all the tracks that you want. I'm going to deselect Use Inactive Audio Tracks as I have no need for the tracks that I'm not using in this case. And Enable Mask Margins is a setting that you would use if you're exporting with widescreen bars on the top or bottom, for example. You can set mask margins inside the editor to your own specs. We won't need it for this, so I'll deselect it. Next, we'll want to set the export codec. You'll want to use same as source to export the sequence with the same codec used when filming. For this, I'm going to pretend that we're exporting for YouTube, so I'll choose custom and then select format options. Under video, I'll choose settings and then compression type. From here, I'll choose H.264. Motion, data, and compressor, I'll just leave as default and then hit OK. Notice all the options that you have under compression type. The possibilities are endless. Media Composer gives you all the options that you need to deliver your project exactly how you want it. Sound and internet streaming, I'll keep as default and just hit OK. Next, I'll select video and audio or just one or the other. You can specify the aspect ratio, which I'll keep as default. Color levels, display, aspect ratio, I'll leave as default. And for a better explanation of all these settings, I would recommend checking the help documentation. But I caution you that changing these settings can really have an effect on the output. In most cases, Media Composer tries to suggest the best setting for you. I would try to stick with those as much as possible, unless your client or project has very specific requirements. Next, I'll save, give a file name in destination, and boom, I'm done. After Media Composer exports, I'll have a video that's ready for YouTube. Congrats, you're on your way to editing your next masterpiece. 